For this video, we will need to import more data in our Firebase database. We are going to add the user's path, which will include the details for each of our users, including their followers and following accounts. Also, to make this tutorial easier, we are going to use the usernames as the unique key of each user. Please follow again the steps from the previous video, to import the file that we have in the video description. Now, we will need to update our user data type, also called, user model, with the new properties. Let's go to models, open user, and add a new property called email, which is a type of text. Then, we will add a property named following, which is an array of text, and then the followers. Both are an array of text, which means that each property holds multiple texts. The next step is to create a new API request that we will use to fetch the details for each user. We are going to create a new request, and enter the username as a parameter to it. This means that, by changing the parameter, we can get back the details of a different user, without having to write multiple requests. It is a GET request, but this time it has a parameter, the username. Kodika informs us that there is a problem with it. By pressing FIX, we get a suggestion to add a username parameter in the path. Let's do that. We're also going to add a success response that returns us the fetched user.